Right, what I want to do now is I want to demonstrate the effectiveness of this MPPT and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to measure, I'm going to show you the current that we're getting before the MPPT where the panels are, are running at um, the uh, voltage which you can see right here take a look you can see you got 33 34 volts and if you look at the um, battery side of the thing you effectively have 26.1 and that's what you want to to see when you when you've got an MPPT because basically it's working at the voltage of the panels and it's reducing that voltage but also increasing the current, the amps and thereby really getting the maximum out of the solar panel that's why you call it uh, MPPT now on my panel right now I've actually made it so that only one of the panels is active because one of these devices can only handle 10 amps and you can get more than that so, first of all, I'm going to just disconnect the uh, panel on here. Now, I'm then going to connect this nicely up to the um, machine thing here and see what kind of current we've got coming out of here. As you can see right here, we have. 3.9, 4.3, 3.9, so on. Um, so what's really important now, so we've got a high voltage of uh, 35 volts, but we've got about 4 amps coming out of one single panel. So let's look at what the story is like on the other end of the system, the battery. Disconnect the battery. So you're just gonna connect the voltmeter up like that. This is gonna be a little bit more intense because battery is kind of powerful thing. Whoa. So here we have now the current going to the battery. You can see 4.9, close to f almost five. So effectively, we've gained an extra amp. Um, from the MPPT which is pretty good um, I suppose it's going from 4 amps to 5 amps uh, so an improvement of 20% uh, on efficiency